Hello, and welcome to the Idle Floor Foundation class. My name is Dr. Suzanne Van Hove, and I will be your instructor throughout this course. Before we get going, we need to do some legal work here, so bear with me as I read through these copyright statements. Idle is a registered trademark of Axelos Limited, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. The IT Infrastructure Library is a registered trademark of Axelos Limited, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. The Swirl logo is a trademark of Axelos Limited, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. All other copyrights are property of their respective owners. And finally, the text that you will find in these slides is from the Idle 4 Foundation volume. Copyright Axelos Limited 2019, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. The material is reproduced under license from Axelos Limited. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, what are we going to talk about in this Idle 4 Foundation? Well, here's our agenda. We're going to open up and really kind of do the administrative logistical side of the Idle 4 certification path and talk a little bit about the foundation exam. Then we're going to move into the um, actual terms uh, and concepts that are important to Idle 4 within service management. And we're going to illustrate them through the case study that is found in the foundation uh, volume. So it's Axel Car Hire. Then we're going to follow up with the guiding principles, the dimensions of service management, idle service value system, which includes the service value chain and service value streams, and then conclude with key idle practices and their accompanying terms. We have a lot of information to go through, so let's go right ahead and let's talk about that certification path. Now, the certification scheme, we're starting at the Idle Foundation, so you can see it down here at the bottom of the diagram. And from that uh, certification, you now have two choices. You can follow the managing professional path, or you can follow the Idle strategic leader. It is not one or the other, or one before the other. You can choose. Now, there's four classes in the managing professional. Three of them are specialist classes. One is the idle strategist. Now, if you're looking at that diagram, you'll see that that idle strategist is a class that is shared with the idle strategic leader path. The idle strategic leader needs one more class to, get, to gain that certification, and that's the digital and IT strategy. The capstone class for um, this certification scheme is, again, the Idle Master. That Idle Master um, will be updated to reflect the, the Idle 4 um, concepts and uh, requirements. Now, do not uh, uh, be dismayed thinking, oh my gosh, I've already started within previous versions of Idle. All is not lost. We do have a transition path. Now, that's the same diagram that we've just seen, but notice now that we have the addition of the Managing Professional Transition class. It's saying those individuals who have achieved 17 credits from the previous version of IDLE, you can take this transition class and then through its successful completion, you will be receiving the IDLE Managing Professional Certification. This does not mean you have to successfully complete MALC as we had in the previous version. Uh, it's just saying you need 17 credits. So you need to talk to or um, uh, speak with um, or review information that's found online on how this, uh, this transitory class works. But it is something that you should take advantage of. Okay. So those are the certification paths. Please take advantage of that 17 credits or more uh, to get that managing professional so that you do not have to redo or reinvest in additional courses. Let's take advantage of that. Now, with this class, we have several pieces of material to support it that you will be downloading. It is a publication that you need to open, to read, to review. You're strongly advised if you did not receive this publication to go and procure it. The student materials to support this class, which were all down, downloadable, of course you're going to get the slides. You have the review exercise, the Idle 4 glossary, uh, and the sample exam papers, as well as a copy of the foundation syllabus. 
Before I go any further, let me tell you how important that syllabus is. The syllabus states very clearly exactly what you need to know to pass the foundation exam. I encourage you to look at it, to read it, and to understand the objectives. Every module, every major module that we have coming up in this class, we have reproduced those requirements so that you can be sure we have discussed what's needed and necessary for the foundation exam. I encourage you to have the Idle Force Foundation slides in front of you so that you can review those slides, take notes, really dive into the diagrams that are necessary to know so that you can have the best learning experience possible. 